Who would your starting 11 be? Right now? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to go with Pickford and goal. I go with Trippier. Oh, what, right back? No, left back. Okay. Uh, right back, Walker. If Stones is fit, he's got to start. Yeah. And then the big question. Oh, see, I'd go with... It's, mm, I'd go Lewis Dunk. Would you? Yeah, I'd go okay. for experience. Okay. Right. I'd go for experience. Uh, midfield, I'm going with Mainu, Rice, Bellingham, right. Foden. Where on the left? Left, Saka right. Kane up top. Okay. Do you think Southgate will, will go with that? Because that's a little bit more defensive. Yeah, but, but I, I, yeah, I think for the first game, I don't think he's going to go... What, what we all want, really, is Rice with, you know, behind Bellingham and obviously Foden. That's what would be amazing with Saka right, maybe Gordon on the left, yeah. and then Kane up top. But I don't think he's going to do that first game. I think he'll be conservative and just just keep it, keep it tight and just try and... Just try and take Serbia on and get and get get a nice get a nice win. Get a, get yeah, I think that's start. the most important. It's not how you win; it's just get those three points on the board. And also, to be honest with you, you know, with loads of chat and we, you know, people saying we're favourites, but defensively we're not great. So, you know, I think he's gonna he's probably gonna be a bit more. Def- I think the first game he's gonna be like, right, let's just not concede, especially after the Iceland game. Oh, no, <laughs> he's gotta be thinking, right, I need to, I need to do something here. Um, a, a lot of people. And I'm not sure what my view is on it. I still haven't made my mind up. I would put Carl Walker as a centre half alongside Stones, and then put Trent as right back. Agreed. I think that'd be. I was actually thinking that off the top of my head. Yeah. I think Walker going in and playing centre half, and and what, what Trent brings, especially in the Iceland game, I was quite surprised he didn't come on earlier. He just brings so much quality. His ability to pick a pass, His passing is incredible. and especially in the games where you're tight like that. When you've got ten people behind the ball, everyone you know, Iceland run there, you know, the six yard box, and you've got someone like Trent who can find someone. That's still my biggest question mark on this England squad. Is I, I, I wish Gre- Gre- I mean, I'm a United fan, but Grealish should have been in that squad, I agree man. With you. It, it doesn't Rashford? make sense. No, not Ra- Marcus. No, okay. But only because I think you want from the season he's had, and, and we we do bang on about stats here. You know, people look at stats and goals and assists and all that. Forget goals and assists. Just his overall performance, Marcus. If he was running every week and he was tracking back and he was fighting for the shirt, I'd say, do you know what? Marcus deserves to go. But with Grealish, even though he's he hasn't scored many goals this season, he hasn't had the assist, he's worked great for that City team and what he brings to that team in big moments and just in, in, in any game. He just He's the kind of player we need, a ball carrier, gets mm. on the ball, he makes okay. something happen. He could get a penalty out of nothing, especially against Iceland the other night. We looked like we were lost for ideas. We didn't really know what we were doing. And, and Madison and and Grealish bring that, and we you know we haven't got them now. So yeah, I yeah. agree. Is it coming home? I want it to, and I think every England fan does. I just think there is a couple of other teams we've got to be really, you know, France for example are yeah. I think the favourites. I'd rather them go in as favourites and us be the underdogs, and let's just see what happens. Okay. I'll ask you again. Is it coming home? Yeah. Yes, of course it's coming home. <laughs> of course it's, it's coming, coming home. home. It's coming home. Uh, we'll sing that a bit later on. When we, we come will. back, we will end the show with the end of show quiz. What's Ooh. your knowledge like on oh, sharks? I listen to this every day. What's it like day? on sharks? Oh, no. I have no... Awful. Oh, okay. It's good. Terrible. It's, it's not on sharks. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.